G starts swarming down the pit in order to go on the DK. Bobo team managed to get off the cogs, which is really important here. As they're going to try and rotate around the cogs now in order to get to that bounty road. Veer's stunned up, but he has the Iron Shell plus the Scorch Earth. They're slowly but surely beating down FNG. They do get the first blood, even if they have to give up the bounty road. And G, he now has to try and go for the deny from Roshan, but the aggro goes to the Radiant Sun. Yeah, so that's actually going to be... Um... Really, really gonna hurt some mail because we did have the SF who was the one who picked up the bounty room and oh double do and they managed to actually take down that success as a support versus like a single support versus an offlaner if you can keep your levels somewhat close to each other I feel like you're doing a, a good job against that offlaner yeah that's a pretty good benchmark I would say here does actually take the charge here the creep wave comes in at the exact same time and this is not going to make it easy for the rock barrage damage in fact Lilsha's going to go down to the scorched earth and the uh, really weak this patch though so it's 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 really hard to come back from a poor early game which generally is how the laning phase goes if you have a jungler see a smoke behind Sumail. Yeah, Sumail. Oh, we missed the shackle shot there, and she is actually being lured in to try and go for that kill, but immediately countered as the smoke pops, and EG reveal the two extra heroes. He turns around, goes for the double raise, but he couldn't get the second one off. If he did, I think he would have actually gotten that kill. The charge comes out from Lil. They're still going to commit for this one. FNG going in deep, and Lil does manage to get the kill on that mid laner, so if you look... There's clarity. He's already bought. Yeah, they're spending so much time trying to track him down, and they won't be able to get this kill. And it looks like RTZ has also deviated from Rabbit's build and not going max points in Khalid. Trying to farm or fight a lot early, rather. Oh, they hit some mail. Lock him down with the nukes. Other easy kill for these fights. And on top of that, they have the potential to steal the stacks with the spent. So yeah, I was, I was it's pretty risky. It feels like they can get uh, doubly punished here. It's easy. Well, the combination of cogs and the charge in would be enough to get that kill. The Doom does go out. It looks like DK Bobo is just going to be run down with the Ion Shell. They don't actually have enough for Scorch Earth, and they're going to be able to turn around up here with the ultimate coming out from Illidan. They use the Gyro Copter very aggressively and pick. There is level 6 online. They really need to kill, get a kill with Finger of Death. Ideally on those uh, two physical damage cores, but uh, Lena... Oh, DK Bobo's always oh, missed it! Oh, he missed that one! Now he's still going to turn and try and go for PPD, but he's been locked down by the Shackle Shot. The rest of the team is coming in. It looks like PPD is still going to go down. And DK Bobo's, I'm not sure how he's still alive, but he's just so Battle. damn tanky with the help of the Dreads. And now the back up. It looks like Samael's going to be going down as well. And... Yeah, but it, it just, you know, you don't typically want to go a minus against a team that's playing aggressively into you and you're, you're kind of behind like this, but there's not enough, many other item choices you really go for. The charge comes in, looks like they're going to focus all their attention on a beer whose Scorched Earth doesn't look to be enough to save him. In fact, God is going to survive through this Doom rather easily. Ill and not quite as lucky, though. The combined damage of Arteez, he's rocking that Ion Shell, is actually dishing out so much on the front lines here. He's going to go for God up next. He has this done in two seconds, but G is going to be able to get away. Instead, he turns to go for DK Bobos, but a good set. They can't get mecked up. Mm, Gyro was kind of isolated. I think he was tanking in the tower, maybe? Oh, I wasn't really watching that part of the fight, but he was really low when Sven just came up and rocked him. And, oh, are they going to be able to enough? Yeah, they get the stun. Lil is the charge enough, it looks like, and PVD has no more mana, and now he's going to be bounced back by Lil's ultimate. And they get a chase for fear. Illidan. He's got the ultimate, but I don't think they could... Oh, the Scorcher is actually running out now. He's going to be hit by the first slow. And now the rest of the team coming in from behind. Spear doesn't stand a chance, especially with a little bit of 17 Follow-up, but they don't have any other heroes with Blink right now. The Doom Midas, we already discussed, but Sven, he already had a Morbid Mask. He had a commit to these spells to come out, but that's... That's kind of living in La La Lane if you think that you can get that off in this fight. So. The ultimate goes out, and they find the lion. I mean, that was probably a 15, Universe. 14 minute oh, pickup. No. Yeah, no tier 1 tower for anybody on EG to uh, TP to. So Universe is going to be con. He does have a surge up in a second, but Light Strike Ray, Laguna Blade, and Dragon Slade to finish him off. We'll you know, I think kill. FNG has been the most impact in this game. So, FNG, if you find this one, you god. Oh, the mail's going to be con here. They managed to get the shackle shot interrupted by DK Bobos. We'll see if the FNG managed to survive. Yeah, he's good. The rest of BP easily lock him down. In the end of the positioning. So, uh, pretty fast BKB from uh, Illidan going oh, low that. Hacked up. Oh, yeah. Lil, he's tanky as all hell, but they do have the finger of death. They can just drop him a bit lower. They can commit for the kill, but not enough. Now the TP potential turn around. DK Fobles hook shot up in a second here, and they've got vision of Peter. Light strike array, and he's done for. Well, he's actually spotted out Roshan. He's got the double damage, so he's going to try and go for that one. A Blink Dagger now complete for Fear Hook shot in. He's going to be able to grab PPD, and there's not much PPD can really do about this one with the uh, Blade Mail. He's going to kill himself eventually. They clearly realize, realize that. Or just hack. 
Okay, well, now that now that Aegis is gone, I don't think they know they needed a special kind of initiation. But Illidan, he already got off the BKB ahead of the Doom, and that'll be able to prevent a lot of this incoming damage. She pops that ultimate to make sure the rest of EG are not going to be able to stand and fight. They'll be able to catch Universe quite easily with that ultimate, and looks like they'll be able to turn around and get RTZ as well. And he just gets kind of kited around by FNG. Nice jump in from Peter, but he's got, well, he's still at the finger of death, maybe to finish off the lean up, but doesn't commit to it. And BP. They pick off three as EG attempted to and then he got Yules and then stunned and then just died. So I don't actually think he got to hit anyone during that fight, aside from one whack on FNG. And now the BKB, they don't actually have it up for another 30 seconds. G will lose his agents here with Will stun on side. Oh, nice grip up! Does he have any follow up? A four man stun comes out from BPD! And this is exactly what EG needs to be able to win the fight. Now Illidan, as well as our Darks here, just on full retreat. Looks like DK Bobo's barely managed to get in out, but Illidan is going to be chased down by this scorched earth power. Power shot on landing, but the tick, he finally gets him. Sit outside and potentially Yule's a Dark Seer if you can anticipate it, similar like to an Orchid play, or have, oh, Peter gets oh, shut out. And nice yeah, move. just because you get one kill doesn't necessarily mean, oh, nice match him outside of the cogs. That's going to be able to buy him Peter some time. He gets off the horse that one. Ah, uh, Nalina, she turns on the Laguna Blade and shows her strength as well. Universe is going to be fine with his FNG's nukes aren't enough, and Lil with the double damage on Samail rip through that cow. I was just maybe disabled. I I'm not sure. I think when you get satanic, you still yeah. keep her creep. So I would assume it works the same way. Like uh, charge action complete, and PPD is going to be caught here. So I think that was what was happening here. Is that uh, his creep, you know, is being found by the the clockwork actually. It's a beautiful rocket scouting a lot of EG's movements and. That will be, oh, <laughs> that Seder Banisher getting in the way of DK Phobos, who would have landed the uh, shot on the RT. The otherwise, meanwhile, the middle lane, Lil's just going to charge right through. They've caught PPD, and they finish him off with a double ultimate. Make a play, make sure they don't, they, they drop a sentry so that they know they don't have vision. Oh, nice shackle shot. Maybe this is going to be the follow-up. PPD leads in. Now they get the vacuum combination with a two-man stun. They've already taken out one. It looks like God is going to go down before he gets up. The G drops out. Gyrocopter is going to come back, pop to BKB. But he's in some serious trouble as EG have just already surrounded him. They're going to run him down between the focus fire and the right-click damage of Arteezy. FNG, he's going to be able to TP himself away. So I'm I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work out for them, especially with the BKB, like, it won't do that much. Oh, this is going to be awkward. 17% already starting things off. The rest of the team comes forward, but a stun on Illidan, and Arteezy just starts tripping through him, but Illidan's going to be staying one step ahead of him. Lil gets taken out by that Aghanim, except they throw out the ultimate from FNG, but it's still not enough. DK Phobos on the front lines gets a lot of damage return. Arteezy trying to take him out. They will manage to get him with a level death, but Arteezy is going to fall as well, and BP starts swinging forward, trying to catch out the... Can afford to then have him die. I think that might be better, but it's it's just so hard to avoid shackles, especially. Yeah, Peter jumps right into four heroes, and they already got the stun on Illidan with the Doom combined. That's going to be a great setup to side the fight. Urshima's actually going to slow him down, and Illidan should be falling here. D gets off a decent ultimate. Illidan taken out slowly but surely, but it looks like Arteezy. Oh, nice vacuum backwards. Universe gets blown up by FNG, though. He bought enough space for Arteezy to escape, and now G and FNG are caught in this awkward position. Arteezy just two shots, FNG. Only interacts, it looks like. Another 20 seconds until the uh, FNG. Lena, as well as their gyrocopter as backups, so that should be fairly easy for EG to yeah, take uh, at least, you know, two or three different heroes that are able to focus them down. Yeah, so they will be able to take uh, Roshan BP. All right, what is this? Buyback, none on Wind Ranger. Yes on Sven. Yes on Doom. Yes on Lion. Illidan actually can shackle shot it up, and this was a problem for them last time. The shackle shot by itself ensures the kill. They don't have to really commit too much. Now the three men back in with a combination. They throw the wall over the top. God is going to be chased away with the doom, and Illidan just gets ripped apart by Arteezy. Once again, EG. Oh, what a great shackle shot. That's going to hold DK Bobos in place for a while. Well, they chase down God, who's still doomed up. Shiva's float down. He's gone. And DK Bobos. You don't have a uh, supporting crew. They're going to have to fight this one four versus five eventually. It's going to be the second lane of that they're going to be fighting over, perhaps. It's a very systematic game from EG. They're really good about damage control and not letting the other team get too far ahead. Hook shot in, DK Bubble. It's going to be hexed up. The charge on through is going to be able to stun four, actually. FNG hits a decent light strike array, but it's not going to be good enough. He just gets stunned down, and now VP are once again left with only three heroes. They managed to catch uh, some ailment, a nice link backwards, actually keeps himself ahead of Illidan. He's going to turn and fight Illidan as best as possible, but they actually back up. Just get the melee rack, jump in once again from DK Bubble, of course, outside of the cog, but some is going to be caught and taken out. Illidan needs to stay ahead of Arteezy, though. It's nice, two man stun. DK Bubble and Illidan both going to be focused down. And Two-man smoke from top lane.
Through the bottom, and deep here, are they really going to contest around the tier 2? Maybe just as a kind of surprise team fight that EG might not expect. DK Bobos actually goes in and bumps back to Mail as best as possible, but Shackle Shot locks him down. He's going to be taken out with Arteezy on the front lines. With Cleave actually doing a large amount of damage, but Arteezy is going to fall. Lil finishes him off, but G, he'll take down for the Doom. He just turns it by nice back and back all combinations that catches both Illidan and Lil. They charge forward now. Universe, nice light strike break, catch the spear, Shackle Shot not quite latching, but a Doom has done it. PVD blinks in again. Catches both Lil and Illidan to finish him off. The buyback is already there from G, and he's chasing down the male, needing that kill desperately. They're gonna have to throw more buybacks if they want to keep G alive here, but they might be too late. He pops the G now. He's already down to half HP once again. Finally, Illidan and FNG are here, but it's too late. SF is down for two minutes now, and EG just start backing up, making sure they don't give away any free kills. Universe goes back into mid vacuum. Peter. He Top barracks are under attack. Dyer's top barracks has fallen.